Okay, so hopefully you guys can hear me well. I've been waiting for them to stop, you know, using the lawnmower. Everybody is trying to be Bob the Builder and a freaking landscaper right now. Meanwhile, I'm trying to be a beauty guru and everybody's stopping my flow. So, we can finally get to the tutorial. Hey guys, it is your girl, Miss Tiana Cole. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. What are you doing? In 2020 HD, 1080 HD 4K. Hello. Hello. Anywho, welcome back, everyone. We're back after two months of craziness, but we're back. And to the new people who are here, thank you so much for clicking that link. Um, I feel, I really hope by this intro alone that you are intrigued, you are entertained. You're like, who is this lady? Why, why do I feel like I need to subscribe? Follow that spirit. Follow that. So as you can see, your girl has a new setup, a new vibe. So we're just going to catch up a little bit. Um, I'm giving you guys a soft glam featuring Juvia's Place and Glam Unlimited, of course. I'm trying out some new products. You can see how my skin is looking ever so glowy and ever so glossy. And how I was able to achieve this beautiful soft glam. Before we get into this tutorial, I have to stop and say to those of you who are subscribed, who are going through the toughest of times right now from this whole corona thing i am praying for peace and i am praying for joy for you because this has been the craziest couple of months i've ever seen in my life but a lot of people have lost people very close to them i know one subscriber you have lost like more than one more than two more than three family members all in one month and i want to wish that upon my worst enemy so to you i'm saying prayers to you please continue on i know it is hard i know it is tough but we will get through this and we're here for you whoever you are we are here for you it may not seem like it we might not know who you are but we really are praying for you so i'm praying everyone who's going through it that things can end soon and for those of you who are living the best of life and you have the privilege and you're blessed to be able to walk around and you're not worrying and you're getting coin and you're fine stay at home don't ruin it for other people okay but also find a way to help somebody else who might be going through it because you just never know so with that being said thank you guys for watching this if you want to see how to get this look and where i have been stay tuned all right first things first i did moisturize my skin i don't have the product on me but i will have it in the description box below so we're gonna go ahead and prime and you guys know my You guys know my primer routine. I like to first go in with the Fenty Beauty Primer. This is the, what is it? The Pro Filter Instant Retouch. And after that, I like to go in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Medium Deep. Um, this powder really helps to set in any oils or anything and help contain um, that as well as like fill in my fine lines and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm finally, I think the main reason that I did not like doing tutorials anymore was I was tired of the quality of them. Um, and of course, like, you can have like the best of talent, but if it doesn't look the way you want it to be, you really don't have any like passion to do it. I don't know. I used to like not care like, oh, it's whatever, you know, it doesn't have to be freaking like HD. But at some point I did get to the point where I was like, no, I want it HD. <laughs> So I like to use the primer for my, my T-zone for the most part. And then I spread it out if I use too much. I use way too much. Like less than the pump is good. I like to take a damp beauty blender, tap into the product, and I just go on top of my nose. I go on my smile lines. So there's minimal creasing. I go on my chin area. I also do this for my dark spots. They help to conceal that without actual concealer. Because this is like a fine product, it helps with not creating so much texture on your skin. But thank God I did my brows off camera because it took forever. 
So as you can see, I already did my brows with the concealer. The concealer that I use is the I Am Magic Juvia's Place Concealer. Um, I'm using the shade 12. I'm going to go ahead and blend it on my eye. We're going to get into this eye look. So for this look today, I will be using predominantly Juvia's Place products. So I'm going to start with the Nubian by Juvia. Um, I got this with an bundle with another palette. I forgot which one. But they've been having a lot of sales and I'm pretty sure everyone has been <laughs> online shopping and stuff and some people are just like addicts of it and aren't getting their packages and complaining about FedEx and stuff. I'm, I'm one of them so I, I get it. But anywho, I'm going to go in using this brown shade right here. I will be using these brushes from Crown Cosmetics or Crown Brushes rather. Um... I saw Beauty by Melissa use them and her looks are always popping so I was like let me get this brand a try. So far I love their brushes so I will have that in the description bar below as well. So for the most part this whole quarantine thing which is really shut down it's like just a stay at home order. Quarantine I think that should just be related to people who are actually sick. So for the whole stay at home order that's been set for at least for me i'm in massachusetts thank god because i see other states are opening up and i feel like that's really stupid this whole thing has been weird i mean i think the day i was planning on making a youtube video everything was shut down and when i say everything was shut down i mean everything weddings prom oh it broke my heart there were so many events I was ready for and like about to kill it and Corona came through I was like nah sis <laughs> you taking a couple of seasons off. I really don't think that we should like try to carry on as usual because nothing's going to go back to normal after this like people need to get over it like it's just not going to happen like there's been too many casualties too many too much too many jobs lost like unemployment is crazy right now so. I don't think anything will ever be the same and this has happened in history before but I don't think they handle things the way we handle things so who knows what's going to happen. I'm also going to be going in with the Masquerade Mini by Juvia as well. Um, this palette's a little bit beat up but that's whatever and I'm going to be using this orange shade right here. It's kind of sparkly and cute and pretty. Honestly you would think like I would have started like tutorials and stuff earlier but again I wasn't satisfied with the quality of my videos and I wanted growth. I wanted something different because I've been doing this for a long time. Like my first tutorial ever was in 2015. You feel me? And I was like over it so I decided to invest in myself and here we are. It's darker shade here. But I haven't been on here, but I have still been active. If you guys have seen or haven't seen, your girl been on TikTok this whole time. This whole, this whole time. I think by the time I upload this video, I'll probably have like 89K, something like that. Like 89,000. 89,000. I never thought that my name and 89,000 would ever be connected, so this is dope. I'm going to be putting this in the outer corner of my eye. I feel like I've built a cool community on there as far as like people tagging me and stuff all the time, messaging me all the time. Like it's really nice and it's something I've always wanted as far as like my content and things I talk about and things I share and the opinions I have. I feel like... You know, most of the time on here, it's like I am talking to here. Let me put it like this. I feel like here on YouTube, it's more so my therapy. And it's like, if you feel me, you can jump in. And over there, it's more so just me putting out content that I've always wanted to put out, but I've been too afraid to do. And so I feel like the two have gone together over there really well. And now we're here. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease, not completely cut it, I just want the lid space to be lighter than what it is right now. And even though I've been having like a good time on TikTok, TikTok is the most racist place I have ever been to. Like it is a virtual Jim Crow era 
honestly you got the white people saying nigga freely like when i say freely i mean free like they are barking it in your face and going viral going viral for it it's so weird what i tried to do with my content is like you know advise people that why things are the way they are and how their behavior only perpetuates the continuation of it but we're not having it like a lot of things are stopping with our generation believe it or not so i feel like my content helps kids to have hope but also stand up for themselves i'm going to take the brush that had like that orange shade i'm just going to blend that out so i'm going to cheat i'm going to go in with the anastasia prism palette and i'm going to be using this butter shade um I use it a lot when it comes to my soft lambs just because it is like a lighter tone um, and it's good to set the lid color. I want to say like my TikTok account kind of took off during like Black History Month because I was doing like a lot of Black History content and people enjoyed it. Um, that's one thing. The one thing about the app is like if people enjoy you, they enjoy you, but it's like <laughs> you're kind of limited to like what you pop off on because people follow you based on that one video that everybody so happened to see so if you're not doing that on a daily they're like where the video at so next i'm going to be adding a little bit of glam we're just going to do a little bit of glitter so i'm going to be using my j larue cosmetics um glitz fix so this is a glitter adhesive i'm just gonna put a little bit of this on my lid place this on my lid all the way so if you're into the beauty queens on instagram you have probably seen this product all up and through your feed this is the j larue cosmetics white diamonds loose glitter oh i love when beauty by melissa adds this to her soft glam looks just felt like a touch of glitz and glam it's perfect and it's everything that i stand for so I'm excited to use it. I was barking at Ebony for my package. Like, girl, did it ship yet? It said it shipped, but it didn't ship. When's the shipment? Like, there's a whole pandemic, Tiana, calm down. So, girl, if you're watching, I love you. That's the only reason why I was, like, angsty for my stuff. So we're going to try this. I'm going to pat it on the lid. And it's, like, it's just a good... Oh, that is pretty. It's just like a little bit of glam, just like a tad, a tad. Nothing too crazy. It's just a tad, just a little bit of shopping, shopping. And I do my liner in a particular way, which is like very thick, so do not judge me. I'm not having it. finish off this eye look with some glam unlimited lashes this is a swap glam let's get some glam lashes so these lashes are in the name fierce this is actually my first time wearing these i think i've worn every other pair except for these these are giving me more of a they give me more of like a fuzzy vibe but they look like i don't know if you guys have ever seen like not to compare it to Instagram models, but when they get like the lash, exten lash extensions, but they're not just going like one way, they're kind of like a different direction. Sometimes that doesn't look like spiders. So we're gonna see if this looks like spiders or not, but sometimes it doesn't. So we'll see. All right, so these are what the lashes look like. They're, I'm not mad at them. Like I don't hate them. I think they literally look like when girls get the lash extensions, but they get them mad full, but I don't hate it. You feel me? Like, it's different. I'm enjoying it. So, shoot, y'all can leave more for me, but if you feel in these lashes, yes. Anyway, you can use my code TIANA20 to get a discount on these lashes, honey. Yes, your girl got a discount curd. <laughs> Alright, now that we're done with the eyes, let's get into this face. We're going to be venturing with some new products on here. So I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place Stick Foundations. Um, I saw a couple of people use them, and I saw their Instagram, and I saw, like, the swatches of them. So I paid about $10. I got three of them. 
paid like three dollars ten dollars for each um this is as much product as you get the shade that i'm going to be using for foundation is cameroon we're gonna see how this works so this is actually my first time trying it on so that doesn't look bad around i feel like you don't need a lot so i'm not gonna go crazy at the same time i am going crazy <laughs> I feel like it would be better blended if I did it this way. Well, we should see if we have to put some more on. Oh my gosh. And another thing, I feel like with my old camera, it's like I would use a product and the match would be so good. But it came off so green because I do have like a little bit of an olive undertone. So anytime I use a product that had like green in it, it maybe looked like a gremlin. And it's like, no, this isn't true because my pictures on Instagram, they look absolutely gorgeous i'm gonna put a little bit more on my forehead and on this area here i would say this is like a medium to full coverage and i would say it's buildable as well because with the extra i want to say extra layer but with the second you know round of putting this on it's covering up the problem area is really good as well so this is the foundation and oh my gosh it is gorgeous like I am taking it back like this is beautiful I love it let me sit back a little bit yes I love it but let's finish off the look going back with the Juvia's Place concealer in 12 I do however like my concealer to be more on the full coverage side so I'm going to go in with Zambia. This is a darker stick. I'm going to use this as a contour. I did get a shade for like highlight, but I wasn't too sure. So and we're just going to blend that in. Yeah, which I like, like for a soft glam, like it doesn't have to be like mm, in your face contour, like. I do like to be snatched, but not not to the heavens right now. So now we're gonna bring back an oldie but a goodie. You guys, this is my baby. I used to love this product. So I will be using the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Y'all know I used to love the setting powder until I got bougie and switched over to Laura Mercier. But we gonna use more Laura Mercier as well. I'm gonna use the original translucent powder. We're gonna do the two and I like to mix the two because I find that just the Sasha Buttercup is a little too yellow. And I like the Laura Mercier to kind of balance it out, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to go into the two with my beauty blender. Just zoomed it out some more so you guys can see the full thing. And I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to go in with the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in medium to deep. I'm going to take the sculpting shade first and I'm just going to go a little bit on top of my contour. I find that doing this really helps my cheekbones come up some more. And I'm going to do the nose as well. And then I'm going to go in with the contour side as well. Okay, we're going to snatch it again. We're going to snatch the face again. I use way too much. Pile it on. Pile it on. Who cares? This look, oof. What? If I had $200, I would give it to this baddie here. Going back into Juvia products, we're gonna be using the Saharan Blush Volume 1. And in this palette, I'm not gonna let you look at it because it looks crazy. I'm gonna be using, well, I have to show you guys, so whatever. So we're gonna be using um, Toby and Neil. I'm not sure who is who, but the red and the orange shade here. Um, I like to do blush every now and then so we're just gonna do like a just a smidge just a little bit just a kiss a kiss of blush nothing too crazy and my face Ooh. into the eyes and tight line going back into the two palettes that we use we're gonna use that orange and that brown just to bring the eye look all together all around
This is the LA Girl mascara. Like, mascara is mascara, you know? This is a loose highlighter in Nubia, I believe is the name. I'm gonna go into this area here, of course, and this area here. Of All right, we're gonna finish off this look with some lips. So I'm going to line my lips with this brown pencil. Hopefully it's brown enough. And also what I've been doing is using eyeshadows for my lips as well. I feel like it just, it really helps with getting like the color that you want. And I'm just gonna glide that on the lips. I feel like my top lip is like so much smaller than my bottom. Off the look, we're gonna go in with the Jade LaRue lip gloss. This is emerald cut. So it's just a pink with some shimmer in it. Um, this is my first time trying out their glosses, so let's see how they do. I would say that this gloss is perfect. It's not sticky and the, oh my gosh, it did Oh, this is good. I like J. Lover. I love it. Okay, so this is the finished look for the soft glam. Then, you know, I got this thing going on on the top of my head. I'm still getting used to it, but it's kind of cute. It's giving me ratchet vibes, but not ratchet. Ghetto, but DIY. It's giving me real wiggy DIY, but that is okay. Honey, that is okay. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. Tell me how you guys like the new setup, how you like everything. Should I add some more lighting? What looks y'all want to see with videos, the content y'all want to see now that I got, you know, my little studio, you know, fixed up and propped up. But I also want to say thank you guys so much for 400 subscribers. That's not a lot, but it's a lot to me. Like, we've come a long way and... You know, the support, the, the community is growing. We're growing, and it's been an amazing journey. You guys have literally watched my growth from the beginning to here. And, you know, I try to stay, you know, who I am. Consistent, no, but real, yes. So, <laughs> with these new changes, hopefully some more content can just keep on flowing until it don't. But while we're here, let's just enjoy this. But this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Tune in to my Instagram for, like, a mini tutorial. Follow me there if you want to see this outfit and where it came from. I will be doing a clothing haul soon. Because I like to get dressed up and cute, but I never do that on here. So I'm going to start doing that. But guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.